So rather than have a multiple question test uh, to firm up your understanding of this course, I've decided instead to create two live uh, business examples and to show how we transform the supply chain uh, using an SAP solution. I thought this would be better rather than you trying to just tick a box here and there. So these two live examples examples are actually examples of where we actually change the supply chain and change the SAP process uh, together. And I really want this as an exercise in how we optimize the supply chain and in SAP. As I explained before, uh, these are two live uh, examples and you can see uh, in the next two videos the current or the business process that was there and in the last two videos uh, the solution that were proposed. So what you should do is first of all listen uh, to the, pro the, the videos explaining how the process is done. Mark key points in the process that you want to change or review and in the background design your own SAP processes. <coughs> also note just mark what you want to investigate further something that you may not sure about and just remember you don't have all of the information uh, in each example uh, it actually took us six months of uh, design and process change work to get there so I don't expect you to get the right answer in the first go once you've done all of that you can then uh, see the result and then try to make a comparison of what the differences are and why certain things were done in a different way. People to understand or, or just get experience on how you would redesign a process and fit it back uh, into SAP. And finally, there is no right or wrong answer. There is just the answer. Uh, the process that I show you will be how we chose to design it. Yeah. Um, so I hope you enjoy it uh, and leave me any feedback uh, if you want to see more.